Hey guys, Gathering Magic back again, and it's that time. It's been about two weeks, so this is Splinterlands Market Watch number three. So I wanted to add a couple more things that I want to uh, track as time moves on. Um, the two things that I wanted to add were vouchers and circulation and SPS burn to just kind of keep track every couple of weeks and just see how we're uh, progressing with those two. So um, since January 12th, SPS has moved from three cents and it's fallen down to 2.26 cents. Uh, vouchers have gone up slightly. They've gone from 3.7 cents to just under four uh, currently as of today, the 26th. Uh, vouchers in circulation right now. Um, this is after the uh, burning for uh, mage wagons. So right now we're currently at just over 11 million and SPS burnt. We're at about 46.7 million SPS burnt. Uh, pack prices, not a whole lot of huge, huge changes. Um, some of the older sets have settled just a little bit in price. Um, Chaos Legion is looking even better as far as value, um, going down to 87 cents a pack. So looking for those cheap land workers, you know, you thought under a dollar a pack was great. Well, they're even under 90 cents as of now. So this is a great time to pick up some cheap packs for uh, land workers. And then Rift Watchers has fallen a little bit to 373. And Rebellion has held pretty steady, just down a few cents to 366. So now if we focus on the sets and what are some of the older card sets doing, I went through real quickly and looked at Alpha, and there doesn't look like there's a whole lot of changes um, to the Alpha set in the last two weeks. So if we look at commons, you're still looking at about 59 cents for the cheapest common, and the most expensive common is Flush Golem at 535. So the good range, or the range for most everything is $2, which is what it was before, but we have Flush Golem as kind of an outlier at 535. I could see that if it was like the only copy, but it looks like there's uh, 10 copies available. So just kind of wanted to make note of that. Uh, your rares look like they're pretty much in the same range. So you're looking at 222 to about $16 for a rare. Uh, your epics, you're looking at 880 for the cheapest and then 1955. So basically the same price. And then your legendary cards. You're looking at 55.45 for the cheapest. So that has had a nice jump. And then your most expensive is still the Lightning Dragon for 976. So that copy is still up there. And then you have an Elemental Phoenix for 554. So those are kind of the two outliers. Other than that, your next expensive card is the Lord of Darkness at 91.50. Okay, 91.50. Okay, and then if we look at the promo cards, so your promo cards you're looking at anywhere from $15 up to $5.99. The one thing that's kind of funny is the rare is slightly cheaper than the common. So your common is $15.99 for your common promo. So that's actually gone up quite a bit. And then your rare has fallen to 15. Your epic is 100 and then $5.99. So those are the same as they were two weeks ago. And then checking gold foils to see if there's any huge gold foil price action. Let's just look at core. So your cheapest alpha gold foil common is $42. And then go all the way up to $9.95. So $42 is your cheapest. So that's down from $64. So if you kind of take out the two kind of... Well, actually, there's really only one that's kind of ridiculously overpriced compared to everything else. You have a Cobalt Miner for $9.95. 
And then other than that, your highest price one is 380. So top range has gone up a bit on that one. And then if we check out the rares, 145 up to 1,000. So 145 is your cheapest one, so that's gone down a little bit. And your most expensive card is $1,000. Other than that, it's 420. So we'll just say 420. With Tyrus, they're asking $1,000. And just like in the last two weeks, if you look at epics, there are none. Legendaries, there are none. So that seems to be the case that all these cards are probably on land. And then for your promo cards, you're looking at 120 at 199. So basically the same price. And that's it for your uh, alpha cards. So the big takeaway for me here is there's still no epics or legendaries uh, for sale on land. And it looks like there's not going to be any time in the near future. Okay, so betas. Let's move on to beta cards. So for beta, for right now, let's just look at core and reward cards. So beta commons, don't expect a whole lot of movement. You're looking at $0.09 cents to $0.99 cents for a beta common. So not a lot of movement there. Your rares, you're going to $0.50. Cents. Up to 1480 for the summoner. Your epics. Oh, one card I did want to talk about again. I want to see what that card's at. Prismatic Energy, when I picked that up, I don't know, a few weeks ago, it was $1.69. It spiked to 425. Looks like now it's settled back down to three. So. Just kind of keeping an eye on this card. This is one card that I picked up for my $10 account. So looks like the price has settled a little bit there. Uh, your epics, $1.76 for the low. So that's come down a little bit. And then your most expensive epic is $7.67. Basically the same price. Not a lot of movement there. And then everyone's favorite, the legendary cards. So you're looking at 12 for the cheapest legendary up to 295. So that high end legendary has gone up $80. Looking at your promo cards for beta. So your common is at 66 cents. So gone up a little bit. Your rare pro <coughs> promo card is 70 cents. So that's come down a little bit. Your epic promo is 434. Basically the same price, just down one penny. And then your legendary promos. Your red dragon is 3094. Basically the same price. Prince Julian. They're asking $4,970. They've knocked off 20 bucks. What a deal. And Archmage Arius, 3000 Even better deal. Took off 1500 bucks. All right. So now let's take a look at the gold foils. Your core and reward cards. Let's look at commons. Looking at 432 to three yeah that's just such an outlier so four dollars and 32 cents for the cheapest up to 369.69 for a saber shark simply because it's the only one on the market so other than the saber shark you're looking at about 26 bucks. So 
So this is just kind of the, there's only a single copy on the market, that's why. Okay, your gold foil rares. You're looking at anywhere from 2450 to 175. So pretty close range to what it was previously. Your epics, probably less and less. Yeah, not very many copies of these epics, as you can see, five copies or less. So you're looking at uh, $99 to 400. And then your gold foil legendaries. Look at how few there are. 750 to just ridiculous prices. So I had 5,000. Yep, 5,000 and 42,000 for the Kraken. Yep, looks like it's the same. And then for your promo cards, let's just look at promo. So you've got $20.30 for the common promo. For your rare promo card, you're looking at $32.45. Basically the same price. Your epic, $400. They took $100 off that. And then, of course, the legendary cards. And there was none, and there still is none of the gold foil promo. The legendary okay let's move to untamed keep this moving along okay so let's look at untamed your core and your reward cards of course once you start getting untamed and newer the commons really go down in, in value and price so three cents to 65 cents so the high end is up a little bit Your rares, you're looking at 12 cents to a buck 25. So not a whole lot of movement. Epics, 51 cents to 385. So that's come down a bit. And then your legendaries. So you're looking at 295 to 98.98. Kitty under 100 bucks. Okay, and then there were some other key cards that I wanted to check too, just to kind of keep an eye on them. So Llama was $69, is still $69. Yoden was 67.50. It's gone up a little bit, 74.47. And then Kron is, okay, right there, 25. So gone up a little bit. Okay. And then our promo cards for Untamed. Let's look at the promos. So you've got the Halfling Alchemist at 645. Wow, I remember that card was 20 bucks. 645 very tempting and then our other promo chain golem 1487 and i don't see the other promo mighty dricken must have sold or he took it down none Okay, now let's take a look at the gold foils. So cheapest gold foil, common, dollar fifteen to five. Pretty much the same. Rares. Looking at 518 for the cheapest to 20. I remember when a normal copy of that was 
pushing that. So 518 to 20. Epics. Looking at $24 for the cheapest to $36.43. And your legendary cards, 155 for the cheapest to 1500. So that has come down. Okay, now for the key cards that I like to keep track of, Gold Foil Kitty was $1,750 two weeks ago. Now it's down to 1395.74. So pretty good drop right there. Llama was seven fifty, is actually up two hundred dollars to nine fifty. Gold foil Yoden was twelve hundred dollars, eight twenty. Big price drop there. And Kron was three twenty. He's now two fifty five. And then our two promos, let's take a look at. It's a gold foil. Let's look at promo card. So Chain Gollum is 220. Halfling Alchemist is 350. So that is it for Untamed. So moving on to Dice. Let's look at dice. Let's look at regular. Let's look at common. Yep, that's it. Four cents to 18. Very small set. So the commons have come down just a little bit on the high end. Your rare is 28 cents to 341 for the summoners. Pretty much the same price there. Your epics, 54 cents to 95. And your legendary cards, 662 to 54. And then for your gold foils. Looking at 111 to three bucks. Not a lot of movement. Your rares, which are your summoners, five fifty for the cheapest to forty one ninety five. Isn't it funny to see a gold foil mylar card under fifty bucks? Okay, and then gold foil epics twenty five forty six to twenty nine eighty nine. Five forty six to twenty nine eighty nine and your legendaries. So about three hundred dollars to eighty seven hundred. So other than that one, it's still 1500 for uh, Pete, 8700 for Epona. So that is exactly the same. Let's head on over to Orb. So commons for Orb, 15 cents to 24. Your rares. 50 cents to 57, so a little bit less. Dropped a little bit. Your epics, 
249 and 359. I love both those cards. Okay, legendaries. 1850 to 7495. And then for your gold foils. 455 to 2850. Your rares, you are looking at 2750 to 3990. 3990, yep. Your epics 115, basically 350. And then your gold foil legendaries. Just that. Minotaur Warlord for 8,000. So they knocked 500 bucks off of him, and he's the only one. Okay. On to the newer sets Chaos Legion. Everyone's favorite set. So let's get off of those. Chaos Legion. Of course, these cards are probably going to be basically the same price. So one cent to 14 cents. The rares. Don't expect a whole lot of movement here. Three cents to 40 cents for a summoner. So before it was 49 cents for Obsidian two weeks ago, Obsidian's down to 32. So we're now at 40 cents, and that's back for Kelia. Your epics. You're looking at 11 cents for Uraeus. 11 to 77. So cheap for epic cards. And then your cheap legendary cards. 73 cents to 12.07. So it was Immortalis, but it is now Pasibilis. Okay, and then your common promo cards. You've got <clears throat> Archimus the Bear for 10 cents and Bruise for 38. So Bruise has gone up 3 cents. And then your legendary promos. You've got Oshur for 1920. So Oshur's gone down a little bit. Dr. Blight is still going down. 2643. Zerial, 3434. Waka, 20842. Waka's going up. And Lux was 360 two weeks ago, jumped up to 490. So that's a big move. And there's only three copies. So it looks like people are starting to uh, load up on their Lux Vegas if they don't have them already. Okay, so let's look at the gold foils now. So your cheapest is 32 cents. To dollar ninety six. Your rares, you're looking at two forty nine to 
looking at $1.54 to 490. So Kelly has gone up 70 cents in the last two weeks. I was thinking about picking up a gold foil Kelly for my $10 account when it was around four bucks. I probably should have because now it's pushing five. I don't know if it's going to go back down again anytime soon. Okay, epics. So epics, which I love for land. 762 is the cheapest. So that's come down a bit. And then your high end, you're looking at 1296. So about two bucks. And your gold foil legendaries. Cheapest is 4445. Up to 102.99 for Carnage Titan, really? Huh. Look at this. Immortalis was 250 two weeks ago. Immortalis is now 95. That's a big drop. I, I just can't believe that. $102.99 for Carnage Titan. But it is what it is. Okay, so now let's look at the two gold promo cards. So you're looking at 256 and 330. Basically the same price. And then your gold foil legendary promo cards. Dr. Blight is 175. So it's come down. I didn't see an Osure. Oh, there it is. 180.69. Zerial. Come down a lot. 331.65. So a lot of movement on some of these more expensive ones. No Waka again. Lux Vega. 26.90. So that's a huge drop. All right, so that's it for Chaos Legion. So let's round this video out with Rift Watchers and Rebellion. So let's look at the regular cards. Let's look at oh, Rift Watchers. Let's look at the regular. Let's look at common. Of course, you're looking at three cents to 23. Basically the same. Your rares. Look at 20 cents to 99 cents for Queen of Crows. Nice to see that under a dollar. Your epics. Everyone's favorite summoner, Dalin, 59 cents to 45. What did I say? 485. And then your legendaries, $4 to 36.89 for inevitable. So it's dropped from 46 bucks to 36.89. So about two dollars down, or two ten dollars down. 36.89, big drop there. Okay, so now for your gold foil commons, 34 cents to 3.54. Your gold foil rares, 218 to 877. So ba basically the same price. Your gold foil epics, 914 to 42. Basically the same. And your gold foil legendary cards. Basically, 80 bucks for Ra to 400 for Immolation. So 
So an inevitable was the highest price gold foil two weeks ago at 400 basically. Now it's dropped to 260. So immolation is now 400. So a swap there. Okay, Rebellion, our final set. A lot of movement in Rebellion, as you guys know, with the Mage Wagons going live. How much movement? We'll find out in a second. Okay, Rebellion. Let's look at, well, let's look at the promos first. So, 445 for Grim Bardoon. So he's come down 11 cents. Manoroth was 48.46 two weeks ago. He's at $45. So he's kind of stabilized a little bit in price. Now for the gold foils. So $44 for Smith. So he's gone up a bit. And Manoroth is at 323.72. Okay. So for the golds. Gold foil commons. So you're looking at dollar sixty-eight to four eighty. Your rares. Are now 640 for the cheapest rare, 640 to 20 bucks. So you can see nice jump in the low end. What did I say? 620, 640 to 20 bucks. The highest price was Avena of the Wolf. It is now Torch Mermidon. We'll just put torch gold foil epics this is where we've had the most movement i think in price over the last two weeks so check out this huge jump in the gold foil epics your cheapest two weeks ago you were looking at 1782 to 40 dollars for your gold foil epics now your cheapest is 34.95 to 68 basically double And then your gold foil legendaries, 137.49 on the low end, so huge jump there. 137.49. And on your high end, it was 215. Now you're looking at 268.88. So as you can see, the big price movers for the past two weeks have been. The Rebellion, the higher end gold foils, your epics and your legendaries. Um, some of the promo cards have had some movement. Dr. Blight, surprisingly to me at least, has gone down a little bit in price. Uh, the Waka price actually went up for the low end. Lux took a nice big jump this week. And a lot of the older cards, not really a whole lot of movement here or there. Um, alpha cards continue to be non-existent for your gold foil epics and legendaries and then like i said guys going forward going to keep track of the vouchers and circulation and how much sps that we're burning you know every couple weeks so there you have it no it's a longer video but kind of like going into depth every couple of weeks and just seeing if there's any maybe hidden movements on the market maybe some sets or some individual cards you don't really look at you know if you don't really look at certain gold foil cards or you know older epics or uh rare cards just like keeping track of how those things move. So hope you guys found this information useful. And as always, guys, stay the course, keep on forging, have fun, and I'll come out with another market watch in two weeks. See you soon.